yo yo guys welcome back to the channel this video is going to be all about creating a stylized environment using this already stylized environment that i created my goal is to expand this into an actual village now some of you may have already seen this uh, little environment from my uh, comeback video but yeah i'm going to expand this into a village so let's see how it goes okay so first things first i do think i'm gonna need to expand this because a village is definitely not fitting in this little gap so I'm going to go ahead and just grab this entire wall here and just push it back. And then I can just be a little bit cheeky here and just copy and paste this and just rotate. And then I can make minor adjustments like down the line. So it doesn't look too duplicated. But the environment isn't going to be huge. I'm probably going to just stick a couple of uh, houses in here and call it a day. I have a couple of ideas for this uh, area. I'm probably going to add a bit of a... Uh, a pond maybe and maybe a fishing hut and then maybe a little villager that can fish in a little pond but i'm really looking forward to this environment i think it's going to look uh great especially since the this tiny bit here looked so nice if i can basically get the same look for the entire thing it's going to look great but yeah i'm going to go ahead and uh, build all the terrain here and uh we can see how that uh looks and voila, we have our terrain. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, water here. Just so we can get uh, a little pond going so we can add a villager fishing. I think it would uh, be cool to see. So we're going to go ahead and just fill this with water here. Boom. And that's not what I wanted to happen. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Boom. Oh, it's not letting me go lower. There we go. Nice. That's a very uh, shallow pond. Gonna have to delete the base plate. And there we go. I didn't delete the base plate because uh, I didn't really want to fall through the pond when we tested. But uh, let me know what you guys think about these types of videos because I don't really want to show off my uh, RPG progress uh, every two seconds because people copy and just in general, like, uh, it's. Too much stress to work on uh, one project all the time so, and i like building these little uh, stylized environments so let me know if you guys want me to uh, basically bring you along while making these uh, little environments because i definitely enjoy making them and i can show like little uh, tips and tricks and stuff if you guys uh, want them or are curious in general but as far as this map goes i'm gonna go ahead and probably just copy some trees around and just uh, shrubs in general so we can get this build up now i am using um that wind shake script i'm not sure who made it but it really makes your environments look so much nicer i'm not sure uh, how good it is on optimization but since this is just a showcase i'm sure it doesn't matter Ooh, this stone is very dark that looks ugly let me uh fix that real quick go terrain material color rock Let's make it a little bit brighter. There we go. That's nice. Also, uh, mm, these assets I made uh, specifically for my comeback video. Just so, to show off something special instead of just making a, a random video out of uh, the blue. So I am using kind of assets that I already made previously. Okay, so we've kind of filled the, uh, the little environment up real quick. So before we build any of the structures, let's go ahead and check it out in game. It's not looking too bad. I can already see I can probably put um, a building here with a little bit of a pier here. And then we can put the fisherman on there. And then maybe just a, a regular house here. And then we can call it quits for the showcase. But I can keep on expanding on this showcase and make it like a, a regular uh, a regular kind of series if you guys want me to. Just uh, let me know in the comments and we can make it happen. Alrighty, now let's uh, go ahead and make some buildings alrighty so i'm gonna make uh, the uh, buildings in blender but i'm not gonna show the entire process because it's probably gonna take me ages but um i'm gonna show step by step kind of roughly how i'm uh, making it i'm gonna start with the pier house and i'm gonna probably start with the little dock okay so the dock is pretty much done here um i basically i'm using a reference uh, which is on my other monitor um I have a couple of planks down here. A cool little trick 
Um, just for adding in a little bit of detail onto things like planks, you click an edge here and then press Control B. It will just bevel that part, so it just adds a little bit of that detail, and makes it look a little bit nicer. And then the logs here have a little bit of a, uh, a cut in them, just for some extra detail. And another thing, if you have uh, like a cylinder or a tree or something like that, and um, you're never going to see the bottom face uh, since it's going to be under the ground, so you might as well delete it. Be uh, it's, uh, better for optimization. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this uh, pier, so I'm probably going to start making the uh, actual building now. I might add some uh, ropes uh, on these logs as well. But other than that, I'll get started on the building. And we are done. As you can see, I've added quite a lot of detail in this. A lot more than I expected. The uh, the reference was really useful, to be fair. Um, but uh, I believe everything is joined together. So now we can go ahead and import it into Studio. And there is the fisherman's house. All I need to do now is color it. So I'll be back in a second. And there we have it. It is pretty much done. And now I could add a lot more things like barrels and stuff like that. But I don't think it's too necessary for this video. I can probably... Just add a couple of things here just to decorate it, make it look a little bit nicer. Just reuse some assets like this. And there we go. We are done. I was going to make another house, but I spent way too long on this. So I think I'm probably going to call it there. Before we do that, let's go ahead and play here. I did add uh, myself here, holding the fishing rod, but apparently the i moved the the body parts but they didn't stay but uh, there you go there you have it we have the little ship house and yeah it's looking very nice if you guys want me to make a part two to this uh please do let me know in the comments because then i can finish off this house over here and maybe add like an archery zone or something here uh but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one guys peace